New questions in the case of the missing Florida woman, Anna Knezovic, gone 19 days. Her husband David's lawyer came on the show to speak for his client, went so far as to provide him an alibi, saying David wasn't even in America when she went missing. Now, I'm not sure why it matters specifically, since Anna's disappearance is believed to have happened in Spain, but it does go to credibility. Here's the part of the interview. You just showed a, a, a text that had been provided to you from one of her friends, and I'm confident, based on the conversations that I've had with my client, that David informed me that there were problems for both of them within the marriage, which is one of the reasons why their marriage was ending. They had not even hired lawyers. In fact, they were talking amongst themselves about hiring one lawyer to handle the divorce. So it was an amicable situation. It's not as if he's fled and gone somewhere. He was already living in Serbia prior to his wife ever missing from Spain. Now, I asked him during the interview, are you sure he wasn't telling anybody he was still in Florida? We didn't play that. It's another issue. But why was I asking that? Because there have been questions. Anna's best friend, Sana, saw the interview, says much of what the attorney just said is not true, and she knows firsthand. She couldn't come on tonight because it's the middle of the night where she is. But she made a video of her response here. The messages that was uh, coming out, that came out yesterday uh, from Anna saying that uh, David had an affair, I did know about that. She did talk to me about it, that uh, apparently there was a woman in Colombia that uh, he had met and that he uh, was uh, having some type of relationship with. I don't know the exact details of, uh, of that, but she did mention it. According to David's lawyer, uh, David is saying that him and Anna were on amicable terms and that there was nothing nasty about their separation. All I can say is that I don't know the exact details of what they were going through. Uh, I do know that they were on speaking terms, but in regards to them using one lawyer, that is not uh, what Anna was telling me. Uh, she did say that they were going to uh, get their own attorneys uh, to deal with this process. David's attorney is also saying that uh, David was in Serbia prior to Anna's disappearance, meaning he was in Serbia prior to February 2nd. I spoke to David on the phone on the 4th when we learned that Anna was uh, missing and that we were going to file a missing person report in Spain, he then told me that he was in Fort Lauderdale. I had uh, continuing uh, con communication with him through the week and asked him on the 7th to come and meet me in Madrid. I made contact with him again over the phone on the 9th and he told me then that he had flown to Serbia on the 7th. Why would you give different stories about where you were? Why would you hire an attorney who specializes in criminal defense? These are questions, and they will loom until we get some answers. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.